Hello, in this video, I will explain to you on how to find V0. V0 is the voltage across this 10 ohm resistor using nodal analysis. So that is our goal. So our goal here is to find out V0 there. Okay, and we need to use nodal analysis in this problem. So let's do it step by step. What is the steps of nodal analysis? The first step is to label all the nodes. And aside from labeling all the nodes, we also extract some information available from the circuit. So label all the nodes here and also extracting some information from the circuit. Okay. Here we are given this here as our reference node or our ground. So this is our reference node or some other folks called it the ground. And what does this mean is the voltage here is the reference. So the reference will be zero. So I have T is equal to zero in this node here. Good. Now what can we get from here? We have this node here is 40 volt from the ground, right? Because the positive sign is here, the negative sign is here. And the difference between this node and that node here has to be 40. So here it has to be 40, right? Because 40 minus 0 will be equal to 40. Good. What else that we can extract from this circuit? I think not yet. And let's move on to another node here okay let's name this node here as node VA not VA actually it is not A but we need to find out the voltage here so I named that VA and here I will name this node here as VB so that is VA and that is VB right okay after this what information that we can have we have IX here Ix is the current that passed through this 20 ohm to the bottom here. I think we can calculate Ix, right? So what is Ix? Ix is equal to voltage divided by the resistance. But what is the voltage? The voltage is difference between where the current came from. So it came from Pa. And then the current goes to the reference node or zero. So I will have minus zero. And this is voltage, so we need to divide it by the resistance between them. So we'll have this divided by 20. Or Ix is equal to Va over 20. Good. And I think we have extracted all the information that needed in this circuit here. Let's do the second step, which is assume the direction of the current. Assume the currents direction okay what i usually do is for the horizontal component i goes to the right here and for the vertical component i goes to the bottom like this however when i have a current source i just follow the arrow so this will go up, so I also goes up like this. Okay, and Ix is already given here. I don't need to write it, right? And I think we have assumed all the current direction. Let's do the step number three. Step number three will be do KCL at all unknown nodes, right? Unknown nodes. And we have PA here and VB here. Both are unknown. So we need to do KCL at VA and then KCL at VB. Okay. Let's do first KCL at VA, right? So let's do KCL at VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? Good. The only current that goes in is this one here, right? This current and that current are going out. So this current here will be going in. And this current is 
the current came from 40 so i'll have 40 and then the current goes to va so 40 minus va but remember we need current we have the voltage so we need to divide it by the resistance between them which is 20. good this is the current that goes in and this current here is going out so i will have this current that will be va and then minus zero because the current comes from va and the current goes to the ground right so va minus zero divided by the resistance between them so i will have 20. good and this current also goes out so i will have plus and then the current comes from va good and then the current goes to VB. So VA minus VB. But remember this is voltage. We need current divided by the resistance between them. So we'll have 10 here. Okay. We can multiply both sides by 20 to get rid of all the denominator. Right? 20 and 20 will cancel into 1. So I will have 40 minus VA. And this one will be VA over 20 multiplied by 20. That will also be VA, right? And then this one, 10 and 20 will cancel into 2. So we multiply the numerator by 2. So I will have 2 VA and then minus 2 VB. Good. Okay, now what can we do from here? I think I will have 40 here and then... We will have VA plus 2VA, 3VA, 3VA plus VA, I will have 4VA, and then minus 2VB. Good, we can divide both sides by 2, so we will have 2VA minus VB, and that will equal to 20. Okay, let's have this as equation number 1. Good. And that is KCL at not VA. Now let's do another KCL, but this time at VB. KCL at VB. Again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the only current that goes in is this one. Oh, no, that is not the only current. This one and that one here. Okay, this one here is VA minus VB divided by 10, right? So we'll have VA minus VB divided by 10. And then this current here is 4IX. So we will have 4IX. Fortunately, we have IX here. So we'll have VA over 20. So we will have 4 multiplied by VA over 20 and that is two currents that goes in we only have one current that goes out which is this one and that current will be vb where the current comes from and then the current goes to the ground so we will have minus zero and we divide it by the resistance between them which is 10. okay good now we again multiply both sides here by 20 good okay so we will have this 10 and 20 will cancel into 2 so we'll have 2 va minus 2 vb and then 20 and 20 will cancel each other so we will have plus 4 va okay and then 10 and 20 will cancel into 2 so i will have that will equal to 2 vb good and now I will have 6VA. Okay, and then I will have minus 4VB. And that will equal to 0. Or we can divide both sides by 2. So we will have 3VA. And then minus 2VB. And that will equal to 0. Okay. And this is equation number two. Good. And now we have two equations. This is equation number one. 
and this is equation number two we have two equation and two variables and we should be able to solve each which is exactly the next step okay and we have two equation and two variables let's do the next step which is to solve the equations solve the equations and how to do that i will do elimination here and i will eliminate vb first so let's multiply this by two and let's multiply this by one okay so for this one i will have 4 va minus 2 vb and that will equal to 40 and for this one i still have that equation 3 va minus 2 vb is equal to zero okay we can x we can subtract both of them so we can get rid of this 2 vb so we will have 4 minus 3 we will have our va here is equal to 40 which is a very nice number and also an important number because it is the not voltage here okay that is va but then what is VB? We can plug this VA into this equation, right? One of them. So we will have 3 multiplied by 40. And minus 2 VB. We are looking for VB. And that will equal to 0. So we will have 120. That will equal to 2 VB. But then we can divide both sides by 2. So we will have VB here is equal to 60. And remember, the unit here will be in fold, and this is also in fold. So this is VB, and that is VA. But then the question is not asking about VA and VB, but V0 here. So that is the very last step, which is answer the question. Answer the question. And then, let's see in the circuit, what is V0 actually? V0 is the difference between this node and this node here which is the ground so p0 is equal to vb minus zero and that will equal to vb right so we will have v0 is equal to 60 volt and this is our final results and i think we have achieved our goal which is to find out v0 which is this value here okay i think that's all for this problem thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye